Hey, James here with a Savat fitness tip for you. These ones are going to allow you to carry the fitness that you're developing on the road and in the gym into your next fight. Last week I gave you a running for fighters video, make sure you check that one out. This one is going to be five different exercises that I think you should be doing if you want to feel good when you fight. So come and join me. Okay, first one, we're going to deal with the problem of feeling out of breath and recovering your breath when you're in the ring. If you do bag work, and I think you should, whatever cycle you've got on, two minutes on, one minute off, do the one minute in plank position. The first one is plank. So I box, and I go at whatever speed I can find that works for me for fight fitness. Get out of breath, beep, down. Recover your breath in this position. It's doing a couple of things. One, you don't panic, because when you're in the ring and you go to your minute's rest, you're a bit tighter because you're in competition day, you're always a bit tighter, more nervous, and you're probably holding your abdomen a bit tighter to defend, but you learn to breathe in that condition. Then when you get into a fight, you know that you can get your breath back in a minute's plank. Of course you can get your breath back in a minute's rest. Of course you can breathe when your abdomen's tight over your diaphragm and you're moving around the ring, still get your breath back. Put in plank in your minute's rest. Second one involves a bit of a story. When I was training for a world championship once, I was living on the fifth story of my building, and I thought, again, bag work, I'd do my bag work, then to train my fitness, I'd run up and down the stairs. So the second exercise is stair running, because it's more energy intensive than running. It also saves your knees. If you get knee trouble when you run, the stairs meet your stride, rather than having to fall forward and land heavy. Stair climbing is also good because you're pushing off on one leg, uh, with your body weight, which is great for moving about and kicking. But I was going to do the stair climbing at the end of my bag work, which I realized after a bit, that's exactly what I wanted to do. How about running to the bottom of the building, running back up, then hitting the back? Just when I don't want to, when I'm exhausted and I've, I feel like I want to fall over or stop, that's when I've got to do my bag work. That replicates the conditions of fighting, or at least as I felt them, because sometimes when you box, sometimes when you're fighting, it's just difficult and you're out of breath how about training that condition how about getting out of breath then hitting there's your second one stair climbing third one burpees and i've only chosen those because a lot of people don't like them if you haven't got a staircase or you don't want to do that do a minute of burpees before you do your training that way again you're putting yourself in an uncomfortable position something you don't like then when you're feeling it in a fight and you don't like what's going on, you're used to it and you know you can get your best work done even if uh, you're feeling rough, you're feeling like you're, you're working against a, a difficulty. Number four, again we're dealing with breath, it's very important when you're fighting. If you regularly feel out of breath when you're fighting, how about 10 tuck jumps before your sparring training bag rounds? About a breath, box. Yeah, what I'm doing. So making sure the conditions I fight under are there when I'm doing my bag work. That way I'm gonna feel cool, calm and collected next time I get in the ring. Okay, last one, we'll do it very quickly. Maybe out of breath is not the feeling you get when you fight and after all it's your fight. Some people will feel dead legs or tired legs when they get in the ring, so. A minute, two minutes, whatever you want, a squat hold. If you want to make it harder, hold a, a medicine ball or something heavy and go until you don't like it, until you really want to quit and your legs are telling you that it's, that it's intolerable. Get up, dead legs. Box. Number five, squat holds. You're building your strength, you're building your posture. You're also teaching yourself that even if your legs are dead, even if you're feeling muscle burn, you can still box, which is what you want. Those were five different exercises to put into your bag work, put into your training, which are gonna translate your fitness that you're doing anyway into a ring condition. Comment below with your least favorite exercise, please, because that's the one I want you doing most often. Okay, see you next time, guys. Enjoy your training.